guys to name this makeup tutorial on Facebook. You guys were amazing. All of the names. Thank you so much. But I decided to go with Tessa's name, which is called Gia Jane. And I think it's so appropriate for this army camo look. I love it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. If you are new, welcome to YouTube. Please remember to hit that subscribe button down below and become part of my candy fam. If you are already part of my candy fam, make sure that your bell, little bell is on so you can be notified of so sweet videos. Today I wanted to film something that is obviously super dramatic and I was feeling super inspired with my JVL cap that I got recently as well as my olive background which I bought for a special look. So I played around with some olive at the bottom and also played around with some goldy warm toned browns on top and some white eyeliner and a hectic wing but without further ado let's jump straight into this tutorial so you can learn how to get this look i'm gonna start off with urban decay quick fix hydro charge complexion prep priming spray Woo! <laughs> and that's just gonna prep my skin for what i'm gonna do next then I'm going to grab the self-adjusting complexion primer and this is such a cool primer because apart from the shine control and the soft blurry effect it gives you, it's also got adapting pigments that actually adjust to your skin tone so that's really cool. Grabbing my absolute favorite current foundation which is the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation. This is just everything a girl could ask for. It's for the <laughs> waterproof, full coverage, it's oil free, it's got a matte finish and I'm the shade 3.25. This foundation does oxidize a bit so it looks a bit lighter now but it goes about a shade or two darker when it oxidizes so that's why I'm using this one. Then I'm going to set everything with the loose translucent powder and I'm using the Yardley one which is also one of my favorite powders. Yo, this is a video of favorites you guys. <laughs> Now we got a contour that face darling and for that I'm using the NYX contouring palette. I love this palette and that's going to go under my cheekbones, my hairline around my temples, my nose, under my lip, under my jawline, basically all the contouring zones. And then I'm just going to grab MAC Gold Deposit Bronzer and just go over those areas just to bronze it up a little bit. Grabbing my beauty blender, I'm also going to pick up that translucent powder and just start baking underneath my eyes and also up against my nose just to really slim out my contouring area because I got a fat nose, you guys. <laughs> then I'm going to pick up Benefit's Curl Brow in the shade number 2 and I'm going to quickly fill in my brows. I've got a few videos on this so I'll link them up in the corner so you guys can click on them and learn how to get them brows on fleek. Once your brows are slaying, we can wipe away the bakage underneath our eyes and then get started with our eyeball makeup. To prep the eyelids, I'm going to use the 2 in 1 eyeshadow and primer from Essence and just apply that all over the lid. Then grabbing my Switch Beauty Slays for Days palette and this medium orange shade, I'm going to use that with a big blending brush and apply that as my transition shade until our eyes are looking pretty warm and sunsetty. Picking up a this orange color, I'm going to just intensify my crease area but focusing on the outer part of the crease. Then I'm going to pick up this white matte shade and just highlight my brow bones and also blend that in with the eyeshadow I have. Then I'm going to grab Max Paint Pot in Chilled on Ice, which is a gorgeous blush tone pink with gold shimmer. And I'm just going to place it on my lid as a base for the gold to stick to. I'm not creating a cut crease, but I'm sort of cleaning up the crease line a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't really know how to, how to explain it. Let's just, let's just watch, shall we? <laughs> Then picking up this golden champagne color, I'm basically going to pack that onto the lid area exactly where I placed the paint pot. I'm going to use this pink shimmery shade just to highlight my tear ducts and make the eyes appear wide and open and beautiful. Grabbing this dark brown shade, I'm going to intensify the outer part of the lid and the crease by adding that in with a small blending brush and just slightly blending it into the crease a little bit and also flicking it out. 
picking up the NYX Vivid Bright liner in white. I'm going to use this to just kind of carve out my crease if you want to say that because this is kind of an easy way to cheat the look of a cut crease because as you can see i don't really have a cool cut crease going on but as soon as i put the liner in there it's just gonna like whoosh, slay it and um, i'm not taking it all the way out i'm kind of just gonna flick it out towards the end a little bit now you know things are going to get serious when I whip out the full spectrum palette and I'm going to use this shade called 100 which is a gorgeous khaki olive shade and that's going to be popped right onto the lower lids girl as well as just flicked out towards the end to create like a shadowy wing effect. Then I'm grabbing the Catrice Cold Cajol in the shade Mint and that's going to go onto my waterline. Okay, the Essence Cushion Liner, you guys. This thing is amazing. And I'm going to use it to create a freaking warrior slaying wing, guys. You are going to the army. We got to be equipped. We got to be armored. And our wing is the thing that's going to kill. So <laughs> make sure you wing it out. Create a nice big wing. I cannot emphasize this enough. It's bomb. <laughs> Benefits Roller Lash Mascara is amazing because it really cools your lashes. So I'm going to start with a coat at the bottom, then I'm going to apply lashes, and then I'm going to blend in my own lashes with the falsies using this mascara. While waiting for my lips to plump up with the EXO Lip Enhancer from Sweet Beauty, I'm going to move on to blush, and I'm using the Satin Coral blush from Essence and then following with highlighter also from Switch Beauty the Glowgasm palette and I'm using this gorgeous gold shade. And then to finish off the lips I'm using Inglot's liquid lipstick in the shade 32 which is a gorgeous mauve lip shade. So that's it for this olive -y makeup tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Remember to give me a thumbs up if you did. And let me know in the comment section down below if you would ever try out this really dramatic look. Also let me know what other videos you guys want to see and I will film them for you. But until next time, you guys must stay sweet. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Last but definitely not least, this one stole the show. It's number 13, Red Carpet Style.